This is the top uh, runners in the championship, Kelvin van der Linde and Liam Lawson having a bit of a coming together, which sends the championship leader spinning around. So uh, coming together, Liam Lawson trying to inch up the inside. That looks like it's into turn four and just clatters into... Having made a relatively early pit stop, the Ferrari of Liam Lawson, which had made good progress from 11th up to 4th before the pits had come out just in front of Max Gotts. But Max was on warmer tyres and the Mercedes was all over the Ferrari as Liam tried to get the tyres up to temperature. He held on bravely for half a lap, but Max Gotts had better traction and then this wide moment caused the Mercedes to get through. But there was more drama to come for Liam Lawson, who'd arrived into the weekend second in the championship. Smoke from the back of the car, he picked up a puncture and was headed for the pits. So Liam Lawson slowly making his way, shortcutting through the chicane and heading for the pits. This was the moment where the puncture was picked up, just the slightest bit of contact, but the bodywork on the Mercedes of Max Gotts caused the puncture and Liam Lawson to drop down the field. And then as Liam tried to come back through the pack, he got up the inside of Kelvin van der Linde, who was sent into his teammate, Mike Rockenfeller, sent into a spin. Esteban Moot and Arjun Miney both having to stop. Both of the Ab Sports line Audis came into the pits and into retirement. The replay was Lawson tried to get up the inside, but failed. Kelvin van der Linde out of the points for the first time this season, as was his teammate Mike Rockenfeller. He would still hold the championship lead. Not a good weekend at all for Liam Lawson. Zero points from the Nürburgring. But there was more early side-by-side -side action between the two championship contenders fighting for every single point in this year's championship. Now this contact with Kelvin van der Linde just nudging the back of the Ferrari and coming through. But it would prove to be a decisive move for a different reason. A five-second penalty added to Kelvin's time.
top two of the championship sharing the front row of the grid points leader Liam Lawson getting a good start in the Ferrari to get ahead of Kelvin van der Linde but as they went down towards turn one van der Linde had a big go down the inside outbraked himself ran deep into the corner as he rejoined contact with Lucas Auer and the wall or contact further back with Esme Hawkey and Vanson Abril some damage to Esteban Moots Lamborghini as well but Kelvin van der Linde with that move dropping down to seventh place and it was Philip Ellis from the third row of the grid that had got through all the carnage to get into the lead of the race with Lawson in second a replay of the move and there the contact as well with Arjun Miley and Liam Lawson as everybody squeezed on the brakes through that first hairpin the pinch point as ever at the Norris ring providing plenty of drama and this on board with Kelvin van der Linde the moment that he got into the wall some damage to the car but he was able to carry on in seventh place The final round of DTM 2021. Three drivers still into the chance of the championship. A top six finish would be enough for pole sitter Liam Lawson to claim the title in his first season. The charge down into the first hairpin and three abreast Kelvin van der Linde down the inside of Lawson. Contact Lawson and his teammate Nick Cassidy sent out wide. The car stopping van der Linde dropping back as well. And as he selected reverse gear, Cassidy got going again. Lawson would get going again as well, but they were right at the back of the field. Van der Linde from the onboard, just diving down the inside to try and get the win. His only chance of taking the championship title. Off the road, over the curbs, and into the side of the Ferraris. So Liam Lawson struggling then with a slow car, an ailing car. It was clear he had damage. Meanwhile, battling for second place was Kelvin van der Linde. Big scrap going on with Philip Ellis and Philip Ellis in the Mercedes then diving down the inside at the hairpin to get through. More contact. Maximilian Gotts, the other driver in the championship fight. Meanwhile, Lawson headed for the pits. So, send out the car. Send out the car. So, in with damage suspension. No time to fix the car. Their only chance to get him back out there, but the car would be very slow indeed. A tortuous afternoon ahead for Liam Lawson. No chance of any points now. His only hope was that somebody other than Kelvin van der Linde or Maximilian Goetz would win the race. Three of them fighting for podium position, although Hungerdea had a five second penalty then as they lapped once again the Ferrari of Liam Lawson. It all kicked off once more coming out of the hairpin and there was more contact. This time second and third in the championship coming together. A big hit between the Audi of van der Linde and the first of the Mercedes driven by number four Maximilian Goetz winner of race one here. The DTM Norris ring powered by BWT. Then going into the Scholar S shortly afterwards, the back end of the Audi skipped around, smoke pouring from the back of the car, and it was a puncture that had been picked up from the earlier contact. No way of Kelvin van der Linde getting through the corner, and he too was bound for the pits to replace the tyre. His championship hopes now gone. Liam Lawson still going around slowly, helpless to stop. Maximilian Gotts. He took the chequered flag, the race win, his second of the weekend, the DTM 2021 champion, Maxi Gutz. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, but this is the greatest feeling ever. Yes. I'm being so proud about you and the teamwork we have the whole year. And I didn't expect this, but it was just, oh my God, I can't believe it. Tears of joy for Maxi Gortz, heartbreak for Kelvin van der Linde and Liam Lawson. The championship crown going the way for the first time to Maxi Gortz in his third season of DTM here and his home circuit. The Franconian could not have had a better weekend. It started the day 22 points adrift in the championship and somehow he managed to take the victory and the win to take the 2021 crown by just three points from Liam Lawson. So the final standings, Gotts, Lawson and van der Linde, the top three at the end of a dramatic day and a dramatic season of DTM.